three mistakes that you don't want to make when starting out OFM or if you're already doing OFM just mistakes to avoid in general these are very simple uh, mistakes you can easily correct um, you don't want to make these mistakes because it's well it's pointless because I've done a video on it and you've watched it um, so these three mistakes boil down to basically mindset high expectations and over promising so mindset Get one thing straight. You need these girls. They don't need you. They don't. A another thing. You don't own these girls. And they are uh, not providing you a service. You are the ones providing a service. You are a service-based business. You are providing the girl a service. Um, they are, in a way, purchasing your services. So, therefore, you work for the girl. Having the opposite mindset of, I hire this girl, she needs to do what I say, it will just f hold you back in so many ways because once they realize that they don't need you and that there's other options for people who offer services out there and who are better at the job and who actually treat them with respect and treat them as if uh, they are being provided a service, then you're gone it's pointless uh, your contract doesn't really mean much they can just leave they know it you know it it's, it's pointless another thing is that people in this industry in general well, like when you're networking with other agency owners etc so rude people in this industry are so rude um, it is in truth this industry is full of people who are very very sad um, mostly young men very sad young men who want to control females and think oh I'm going to be a pimp online I'm going to do this I'm going to do that you're a gimp like there's so many sados in this industry honestly so many rude people who weren't brought up right and um, yeah it's a big problem so just come with an attitude where you're polite you give value and you never expect anything in return and um, you should be able to network with people just fine you should be able to hire clients just fine anything else if you're really struggling to uh, get clients and you message me about it and you're rude I know I know why already um, because you're useless and you have no manners so get your manners right and get your mindset about this business model right um, before you start in this industry 100% high expectations a lot of people have this like TikTok Instagram reels YouTube shorts type attitude um, they see guys online saying start OFM like, you know earn millions in a couple of weeks these people are lying or they've been in the industry for years OFM is a legitimate business uh, it's not like a luck thing you, you still need to have business skill you still need to have the necessary traits to be able to run a business and be able to manage a team and manage girls and be polite you can't just come into this industry thinking oh yeah I'm starting OFM I'm going to be a millionaire next month because I'm going to sign this girl and I'm going to bring her to this much it's all a fantasy don't think that it's literally it is a legitimate business you're a service based business you, you're yes you can start the business with uh, no experience in business or in OnlyFans or whatever and yes you can improve on those skills but you're not going to come into the industry and unless you're already a very experienced businessman you're not going to come into the industry and make that crazy money and achieve like financial freedom within a month that's not realistic so don't come come into the industry with such high expectations because just true is a side hustle and see where it goes from there because it's not for everyone for a start and you'll very quickly realize that it's a lot harder than a lot of the the lifestyle content guys make out over promising so over promising isn't isn't good in any situation for anyone involved in the over promising uh, a lot of people think that for some reason having an opening message saying oh I'll scale you to 10k a month this month if you sign on with me that screams desperation for one and if you haven't 
ever done OFM before, pointless. Just get rid of it. Even if you do get a client from this message, if you don't scale her to 10k per month in the first month, she's going to be suspicious already. She's going to leave. Absolutely pointless message. You might think, oh, I'll just get her on a three month contract. Cool. Do that and she'll leave anyway. So it it just it just thinks of being desperate lying about uh, results uh, over promising it's all unprofessional and it's absolutely pointless you should always always in any business doesn't matter what it is in any situation in general to be honest you should under promise and over deliver always do that and people think ah oh, what's what's the alternative what can i say instead of i'm going to scale this 10k by month just don't just say anything apart from that that's a stupid message to send if you're just starting out very stupid method message and um yeah i think it's pointless so over promising will never be promising for you i promise you that so don't do that don't do any of these three pointless i've told you about it now don't make these mistakes